everybody, I'm Erin, and today I'm going to be doing a list of booktuber shoutouts. Now, this list is rather long. Um, there's 13 of them, so I'm just going to jump right into it uh, and save you guys some time. So, uh, recently I've actually been named in a couple booktuber shoutouts, and that was kind of amazing. I was, I was really surprised, because uh, the first one... Uh, have you ever been watching a channel and you're like, you love this channel, you watch it all the time. You know, you don't comment it on it so much, but, you know, you watch it all the time and then all of a sudden they're doing a shout out video and they mention you. <laughs> and that's how I felt. I was like, I don't even know that this booktuber knew I was alive. And she does, and she likes my videos. And that's Candace at Beacon Hill Books. So I was really excited. I, if you have not checked out her channel, actually, she's great. Um, she talks about mostly adult literature. Uh, they're mostly adult books, right? She's not an, a YA booktuber by any stretch, stretch of the imagination. Um, she does nonfiction. She does... Oh. Hmm. Does she do... Anyway, she does... I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I watch her all the time and I can't remember what she talks about. That's awesome. Yeah, I highly recommend her though. Uh, next was Mel at Mel's Bookland Adventures. She gave me a shout out in one of her videos and um, she's great. So Mel lives in the UK somewhere, but she's from Germany originally. And so she'll read a lot of German literature and she reads some of it in German <laughs> um, and some of it in English. But uh, yeah, she definitely reads a variety of books. She has um, an around the world book club where they every month they read a different book or a book from a different part of the world written by a female author so that's been really interesting watching her review the books i haven't taken part because i'm not always the greatest person um at reading books picked by other people i'm not even great at reading books that i pick which is why i've stopped doing tbrs so if you have not checked out mel at mel's bookland adventures go and check her out she's fantastic you're gonna love her channel Courtney at The Cortagonist is a fairly new, well, not a fairly new booktuber, but a new-ish booktuber. But she's already got a lot of followers because she's fantastic. She talks mostly about cozy mysteries, which I have a huge soft spot for cozy mysteries. She has a cozy mystery reading club now, and she just has so much energy. And um, yeah, if you want to know anything about Cozy Mysteries, she's got a ton of great recommendations um, and a lot that I haven't read yet, so I need to get on that. Next, we have Grumpy Old Get Reads. Grumpy Old Get, G-I-T, Reads. She is um, a fantastic booktuber. She always makes me laugh. So I was watching one of her videos today, and she's talking about a series of books about murders in the Cotswolds, and she kind of takes on the, the whole series and the, and the main character in the series because, you know, everybody looks up to this person and thinks she's fantastic in a, in a disaster or in a crisis, but at the same time she's like, well, I kind of create the crisis. So she was very, she's hilarious when she talks about it and she does a really good job of telling you about what, really what you need to know about the whole series of books. And she's just a lot of fun to watch. I really enjoy her channel. Doris at Aldi Books. I'm not actually sure how many subscribers Doris has. Um, she and I started about the same time, I think like within a month or two of each other, and she's got a fabulous channel. She reads a lot more literature than I do, and she talks about it in a lot more educated way than I do. So I think I, I really enjoy her channel for that. She reads books that maybe I wouldn't normally read, and she makes me interested in them. Mara at Books Like Woe. I just found her channel through Candace at Beacon Hill Books, and Mara is, is fantastic. She's funny, she's very smart about the books that she talks about, and she's got fantastic makeup. I like I look at her videos and I'm like, man, if I tried to do that eye look, I would look like I I would end up looking like I just had black eyes. Really. Like anyway, not that it's about the makeup, but I'm jealous. I'm jealous and um, I do. I love her channel. She's she is doing a series right now where she talks about um, the Hercule Poirot books from Agatha Christie, and she talks about their social significance, um, how they fit into Agatha Christie's work, and the commentary that she's making on the class system and other stuff like that. So I thought that was really actually really interesting, and I'm a huge Agatha Christie fan. So and Hercule Poirot fan. So anyone that's 
falls into that is just good in my book. Up next is Today in Jen's Library. Uh, what I like about Jen's or Today in Jen's Library is she talks a lot about audiobooks and um, she understands the importance of the narrator narrator in an audiobook. So she talks about other books too. She'll talk about like physical books, but I enjoy her discussions of audiobooks because when she reviews an audiobook, she's not just reviewing the book. She'll tell you about the narrator and how good a job they did and how well they represented the book. Um, and she reads a lot of romance. I think I've seen mysteries on there. She just she's got a fairly broad range of books that she reads, um, if I remember right, <laughs> and. I just, I love watching her channels and it's all like, again, it's another um, booktuber that I think does primary, primarily adult um, fic or adult books. So yeah, I'll pretty much highlight it if, if the, the user is someone or if the booktuber is someone that does not, that does um, YA books. Cause I know not everyone's looking for the YA books. And the next one actually that I'm gonna talk about is somebody that does do um, young adult. She is, I don't know if it's Cindy or Sydney, um, because she, I just, I, I don't know. And it's Books, My Quiet Friends. Now, she has a lot of energy. She's a fairly young booktuber, and she talks about YA. I feel like she's also talked about classics um, and some other genres, but, you know, she does do a lot of YA. She just has a great personality. And I think, you know, if you haven't checked out her channel, give it a try. Um, and you might actually enjoy the content she's producing. I, I really hope you do, because I think she's a great booktuber. Next, we have Amy at Amy Reads. Um, I feel like Amy does a lot of contemporary romance, and she's probably, probably not. <laughs> I, I watch her channel, and then I'm like, I watch too many booktubers, because now I can't remember what she actually does. But she does a fantastic job of talking about the books that she reads, um, and she is not afraid to say if she doesn't like books. Uh, so yeah, Amy at Amy Reads. And then I've got Charles at Sir Book Sage. Charles talks a lot about science fiction and fantasy, and if you have not checked out his channel, he is actually um, a pretty great male booktuber. I mean, there's a lot of male booktubers out there. He's one of my favorites. Um, I just, I like the way he talks about the books, and he's also an IT professional, like some other people I know. So, yeah, check him out. CL at Love From CL. Now, CL is uh, really relaxed in most of her videos. She talks about a lot of things. She does not just talk about booktube. She talks about journaling. She talks about things in her life, her daughter. She just, she, she has a broad range of videos and it's really been interesting getting to know her through her YouTube channel. And um, while I wish she might, you know, would do some more, more book related videos, I so love the other stuff that she does. Um, and recently she just did a booktube about Booker, booktubers she loves for reasons other than the book content on their channels. So check her out. Um, I also want to talk about JD at JD Archer. He is a science fiction reader, science fiction and fantasy reader. He does fantastic reviews of um, backlist books, much like I do. Talks about some current fiction. He also has a science channel where he talks about science. Um, he's lived in Japan, so that's always kind of interesting when he talks about that stuff. And he is an aspiring author, so he also participates in AuthorTube events. So absolutely, if you like science fiction and fantasy, JD at JD Archer is a fantastic person to follow. And he's also got a Facebook page that he started for booktubers so that you can kind of go on there and meet other booktubers and um, chat. So check that out as well. And I can't remember what it's called. Wow. I'll look that up and put it in the bar down below. I have Tales of Adventure. Now, Tales of Adventure, she's a fairly young booktuber, but she talks about books with a lot of maturity, if that means makes any sense. Um, I think she's just, I've just found her channel and I believe I found it from someone else's shout out video and it may have also been Candace at Beacon Hill Books. Um, and I just, I've enjoyed the videos that I've watched of hers. She has a great personality and I like watching the entire video when she does them, regardless of what she's talking about. So that's always nice. 
Um, and then Dave at Wild Reads. I've recently found him. He's a fairly new booktuber. I think he just celebrated his six month anniversary. And you guys, his production quality is fantastic. He's got a, an amazing on-screen presence. I wish I had half of his, you know, British coolness, I guess we'll go with. You know, I, he's just, He's so suave. Maybe it's the accent. I don't know. But Dave at Wild Reads is fantastic. So go check him out. He reads um, a lot of literature, yeah, and adult books, again. Like, it's not YA. So there you go. Those are, actually, I think you got 14, because I added one in there. Uh, 14 booktubers that you should check out. All of their links are down below. Um, so yeah, give them a try, and hopefully you find some new content that you enjoy. Thanks everybody for watching.